participants, supportive attendees, and knowledge seekers, ladies and gentlemen, a pleasant day to all. Though we are in different parts of the world, this activity unites us all with sharing the common goal of learning together. Feed your skills, innovate, inspire, impact. Welcome to Institute of Global Professionals. I am your host for the evening, Lersha L. Pelaez from New Era University, Quezon City, Philippines. Be one of the change that embraces the new modalities of learning. We believe that power is gained by sharing knowledge while embracing the chances of, its, of this learning. Each time, you can also like and comment in our webinar. Don't forget to tag and share with your friends and community. We are hoping that all of you will be associated with IGP as a global member. Please continue being with us in all the webinars. Check in on the IGP page, recommend IGP, and mention your friends. Before we start our program, let us learn more about IGP. IGP is an institution of global professionals, which serves student and community resource, provides holistic social work and education to create a proficient generation. Our mission is to empower people and enhance effective training and consultation all over the world. We organize our webinar, training, offline and online courses by best and trained speakers, coaches to create a best learning platform for all of you. We expect that all of the webinars help you in your professional growth, and we wish that you will stay with us in this long journey. Let me remind you again to share, tag, and comment because your encouragement helps us to do better and provide quality service to all of you. And for the certificate, please click the link www.eduigp.com courses Global Hospitality Planning with Modern Travelers. Click enroll now. This is the same link that can be used for certification, but only after the live program. You need a code to claim your certificate, which we will share only on our live program. To catch your attention, you can join all our free international webinars through our official Facebook page, group, and YouTube channel. ISO Verified E-Certificate will be provided to all the active participants. We are very honored to welcome you all in this marvelous event. Let us welcome the IGP 136th webinar with the topic, Global Hospitality Planning with Modern Travelers. It is our privilege to welcome our speaker for today. So without further ado, let us start our program with IGP's reminder, feed your skills. Our next speaker is the founder and CEO of Independent Perception and Research Hub, an author and professor of Bangladesh Tourism Research Institute and an advisor and country director. Let us welcome Professor Muhammad Sharyar Parvez from Bangladesh. Hi, Am I audible? Good evening, sir. Good evening. Am I audible to you all? Yes, sir. Your audio is loud and clear. Okay, thank you. So I want to share my slides now. Sir, we are all excited. Yes. So to all the attendees, you can prepare your questions to our two speakers, Sir Julian Martin Guash and Sir uh, Professor Muhammad Sharyar Parvez. Once again, let us welcome Professor Muhammad Sharyar Parvez. Hello, everyone. Uh, uh, 
it is clear to all yes sir it's clear okay thank you so hello everyone dear participants this is md sharia purvez and this is my affiliation is here i am the professor and advisor of bangladesh tourism research institution bangladesh chair and ceo independent perception and research hub iprh bangladesh advisor bangladesh tourism explorer association bte country director euromed research business institution international reviewer of hrpub usa associate editor of world journal of social science australia track chair and reviewer of euromed research business institution reviewer and uh, fellow of global research institution for business academics associate fellow and reviewer of world business institution australia life member asiatic society of bangladesh life member bangladesh economic association and i uh, was the eighth professor of finance at the dbs university of bangladesh and i give my thanks to the international for this international webinar uh, organized by Institute of Global Professional IGP and it's a very good performance and the audience who are already participate here you, you have the opportunity to gain you know, the knowledge day by day if you you earn the knowledge then it will become your power because knowledge is so now uh, I would like to continue my presentation today that today our presentation is on the topic of global hospitality planning with modern travelers. And already uh, Dr. Martin uh, said very well and uh, he already showed very much important um, theories, very much important points. Uh, I just uh, continue or uh, on that topics uh, and today's my focus point is global accommodation for modern travelers uh, and uh, we already know that it's a COVID-19 era so staying at home means traveling tomorrow is stay at home but uh, in our mind we, we always want to travel in this world in this country also in your country now come to the point that what is tourism because uh, if you want to know about the traveler then at first you must understand that what was the meaning of tourism tourism is the process where people from one place to another go for enjoyment spend the time it play a great role for the development of a country so the tourism demand of different communities uh, increasing and different culture of the world are homogenized on culture on one side development occurred but on the other side different diseases and transfer from one country to another world now the point is here that activities of the person traveling and staying in the place outside their usual environment for not more than one consecutive year for leisure the tourism that act the process of spending time away from home pursue your recreation relax and pleasure while making uh, as a commercial provision of services and such as tourism is a product of modern social arrangement now tourism industry two plus ism is tourism in the tourism industry you can see clearly that there are transportation there are accommodation, there are visitor uh, attraction, and uh, in the transportation, you see the year, the bus, in the accommodation, you see the hotels, the guest house, and also the visitor attraction, the nature, the culture, the society. So now our today's point is accommodation. So tourism organizer also a part of the tourism industry and. At last, the point is here that revenue is one of the points that from the tourism is that a country will generate revenue and it will give 
the uh, contribution to the country's GDP. Now, now, the tourism industry is a business network, and under this network, you already observed that there are 400 different jobs connected with tourism industries, and they are require different skills, different experience, and also education. Now, in the tourism industry, in the tourism industry, in the real sense, the tourism industry is the link with every sector of the economy in the world, which positively and negatively affect the GDP of the country. Throughout the tourism, many employments were generated, play great role in the poverty reduction, socioeconomic and improvement of the world and tourism improved the trade of the country and also boost up the industrial sector of, of the world. Now we are thinking that, that uh, why uh, Professor Purvis say so much on tourism because this uh, webinar uh, on the point of travel, the modern travel. The point is here, when you are alone, uh, you are uh, become sleepy, so you have no one to play with you. So you play a frisbee uh, by yourself. Now, when you are traveling, you are social. So always thinking that when you are traveling, if you are traveling alone, but you become social, but uh, by the around people, by the people around you. So now the point is here that travelers comes in the point. Like in the first picture, we see when your uh, girlfriend says uh, she only um, bringing her essential for the trip, then uh, her bag will be uh, this much. And also we observe uh, here Mr. B, uh, a traveler. And also we observe a little a child. So uh, he or she also a traveler. So here uh, we also observe the Bill's holiday film. So in the in that movie, we all observe that how the Mr. Bean travel uh, in what ways. Now, uh, my point is here in the traditional traveler, like the business traveler, like the laser traveler, also the special interest traveler. And in this way, we can divide the traveler in a traditional manner. But if we come to the point of modern traveler, so this, this is the picture of some modern travelers. Like in the modern traveler, you observe that traveling is now is a pleasure like someone wants to eat food in the traveling someone go for a beautiful place and someone go for adventure in the traveling thing at the time of traveling and someone go to this spa for beautification so this is called the modern traveler now traveler tribes so modern traveler means something different to travel every traveler. Form some is a way to spend time with friends and family. For others, it's a way to get the test of the adventure, to explore the new culture. Each of us has our tip of modern personality where we set up out on a trip. So come to the point. The travelers, types of travelers. Number one, the cultural virtue. This is one types of traveler. They are traveling for uh, find out the amazing of culture, exploring the museum. And another point is come number two, the foodie traveler. They are travel around the walls for de searching different types of delicious foods. It's also happened with me because when I am traveling, I also uh, searching where the good food is 
here and what's the style or what uh, local foods uh, found in this uh, uh, society, in this country, in this community. Now come to the point that number three, the nature travelers, they love the natures. They are always love the natures. Number four, we observe the photographer. Photographer is one kind of traveler now. Like in the time of traveling, uh, we capture the different types of sites and different uh, uh, capturing every moment of their trip and uh, like animals like local foods and uh, they are always uh, hanging a camera on their neck so they are the photographer they are also the traveler now come to the another point that the, the social butterfly they are also the traveler because when they are traveling at that time, uh, they captured the photos and downloaded and uploaded their photos on their Facebook, their Instagram, and also they will be the blogger of the YouTube channel. So they are also the traveler. They are called the social butterfly. Also, there are some party animals. They are also the traveler because they always love the farm. They plan to revolve uh, around the best party place nightlife they lose the bars the clouds so they are enjoying their time at the time of their traveling now number seven the planner they are the most important traveler because they plan themselves because they always plan that how can they travel so before the travel they always write a notebook and uh, they travel on the daily plan setup so, so they are called the planner they are also the traveler now the norm so in the number eight the norm they have the traveler who has no planning like opposite to the planner traveler so they're just moving around the world without any planning they just uh, their goal is to travel the unseen place. Uh, they have no plan, but they are traveling. Another point is come that the thriller seeker. So they are always love at the time of tra traveling from climbing the mountain climbing, then they are bungee jumping, and they love uh, uh, to uh, fly uh, from the sky. So they are the the thrill seeker traveler and in the number 10 the functional traveler so these to this traveler travel is just means to the end most uh, consisting a business traveling and visiting uh, the different kinds of place uh, on a functioning travel like uh, want to see the football match want to uh, go for traveling for the wedding uh, for attend uh, in the um, uh, wedding. So uh, they also often consume with their task to get most out of the destination. Now come to the point, the pilgrim, you also know that in the uh, religious, they have their, uh, some of them are go for the hajj uh, for uh, uh, a certain period in every year. They also are traveling. And also, number 12, the shopper. They like to shop uh, in their traveling time. Like they are shopping, the shopper may either man or woman, but they are always on trip. They complete their uh, shopping at the time of their traveling. And they, uh, they buy the gift for their friends and for their families. And Mr. Martin already uh, said about the backpacker. So you already know about the backpacker and uh, there are number 14 there are uh, the gap year travelers uh, they are basically the graduate uh, of e school or college student because uh, at the time of their year gap they are preparing themselves for traveling so they are called the gap year travelers so those who are uh, uh, planning uh, that uh, after my this exam uh, we are the friends go 
uh, on this uh, on this uh, moment uh, to go in abroad or we can uh, go the travel to our, our country's destination so they are the gap year traveler now in the traveler they have uh, 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 one type of traveler is called the complainer because uh, they are not satisfied in their uh, life in any moment like at the time of traveling uh, uh, they always complain that oh the shower is not working the basin is not uh, so much clean so they are also the traveler because they have, but they are the complainer and also the gang so uh, this type of traveling is, is a group traveler like is a large group of friends they planning to travel as a gang that uh, they planning the whole year that yes uh, in this year we go to this place we go to that place they are also the traveler and also uh, the weekender they are also the traveler because in every weekend uh, they plan to go some place uh, or that they might uh, visit some place close to their home uh, even go on the short trip uh, in a further way uh, Often, financially stable people are thinking this type of traveling because uh, if you are always planning that you every week you go for a traveling, but uh, for that reason you must be a financially stable people. Another point is come that the chatterbox. This one seems uh, befriend anyone and everyone. They meet on their trip like you are alone in your traveling time, but you are a chatterbox from the taxi driver to waiter, you uh, capture your friend that you say, okay, uh, uh, in the traveling time, you make some friends. That is called the chatterbox traveler because they're always uh, chatting with all kinds of people. Another point is come now, that is the luxury traveler. So nothing less than a five-star hotel is enough for this traveler. So no matter whether she go, luxury is a top priority from uh, personal cap to uh, classy restaurant. They like to do uh, things in style. So they are the luxury traveler. And number 20, the skipping. So they are always uh, uh, try to escape from this society. They, but, they are basically run away from the boredom, from the guilty, from the failure, from the conflict. They are also this uh, one kind of traveler looking for some sort of escape at the far way for destination. Another point is here that is solo artist, uh, like a growing section solo traveler choose the uh, uh, travel alone in this world. They are the solo traveler. They like to uh, travel alone because they enjoy uh, alone traveling. And also number 22, the soul searcher. So this one is quite different from escapee. Uh, they use traveling as a meaning of finding themselves or find some spiritual meaning of life. Often traveling alone, they want to holiday. They uh, teach them something, whether that is uh, meditation or cooking. Another point is come, that is the budget trip. Already Mr. Martin said the budget traveler, yes, they are the budget traveler. They are um, uh, collected uh, each of their penny and save it uh, on their uh, wallet and go to the traveling at the time of their traveling time. Another point is come the collector. Uh, they never leave a new place without a momento. So they are the physically object like a souvenir uh, or uh, uncommon experience. Uh, so they are actually one type of traveler. They are called the collector. Another point, the pioneer, the seeker of the most unexplored or upbeat destination. So they are traveling um, unusual museum exploring the world and they are all, always called the pioneer so this is the traveling time uh, uh, the types of traveler and uh, another traveler is called the crew crewless one uh, they are also the 
traveler and uh, number 28 is called the tourist so most of the people you meet are simply the tourist traveler who prefer seeking to well known destination and uh, tourist activity often during the establishing holiday session they may uh, organize tour and even or entire guided by travel guides or books now think about this thing that what type of traveler are you and another question is here that do you fall neatly into one category or do you see yourself in many another question is here are you someone who is something completely different because we are the traveler and we have different perception so under you on the basis of your perception the travelers are actually divided in these categories because in the uh, tourism the world uh, we are not say that tra all the travelers have the same mind so they have different mentality they have different mind so this is your question that you think what type of traveler you are and are you one who have something completely different from this list of, of travelers now come to the point that hospitality because our focus point is modern traveler and accommodation so under the accommodation we need the hospitality so here you observe in the picture that under the hospitality you have some relax you have some food you need some food you need some hotel so you need accommodation at the time of traveling so hospitality the term hospitality describe the service provided from a host, a staff member, or business, or if to his guest. In the modern time, is also referred to the industry of providing housing or service to paying customer. On the other hand, historically, this meant that service provided by the host were done out good with hospitality, also uh, translate to Latin word, and uh, it is comes to the guest and uh, the people provide or offer hospitality need to be a friendly and make guests feel comfortable and welcome because hospitality can perform in any place where the service is provided well known example is the hospitality industry or the hotel the theme park the restaurant but can we done in any service for us is established many customers expect a certain level of hospitality depending on the price and quality of hospitality business so it is very much important that at the time of hospitality industry at the, you must give the comfort and welcome to your customer your customer or your guest which means that the traveler now in the hospitality industry you are that under the hospitality industry you have the travel you have the lodging you have the management you have the restaurant and also this you know, recreation so these are the hospitality uh, industry characteristics and under these characteristics a traveler must enter in this industry when the traveler travel at the, at the time of his traveling period now in the hospitality you also observe that under the tourism that in the hospitality and the tourism industry you have the tourism you have the travel you have lodging management restaurant recreation theme plus many things so these are the points that each of these units are related with the hospitality and tourism and which means then each and every unit has some employee has some employment and this industry also contribute to the society and also to the gdp of a country now the difference between the hospitality industry and the travel industry it is very much simple that hospitality industry is concerned with some 
to be related customer satisfaction. So hospitality industry always prefer the customer satisfaction. Here I mentioned that the customer is here is the traveler. So as a uh, participant, you must understand that uh, when you are working on a hospitality industry, you must give the customer satisfaction, which means that traveler satisfaction. So now that uh, travel and tourism and hospitality in, in this circle, you observe that under this uh, figure, you observe that there is a circle around from the travel and hospitality, travel, uh, travel and tourism and hospitality. There is lodging, there is a restaurant, and there is the travel agencies. Now, in the hospitality industry, your findings are lots of business like hotel, motel, restaurant, vacation ownership, um, hostel, different things like travel agencies, taxi service, uh, then real estate, then beverage, then uh, rec recreation equipment, then food production, then souvenirs, all are the uh, related uh, part or attribute of of this hospitality industry. So it's a very much important concept that if a country boosts up its hospitality industry, then ultimately is boost up the country's economy because each of this attribute has some financial contribute to the country's economic GDP. Now, uh, come to the point that in the hospitality, most of the important part is accommodation, then food and drinks, and then travel and tourism. So in this part, you see that accommodation is important part in the hospitality, then food and drinks, important thing, and also the traveling and tourism. Now under the accommodation, the accommodation sector of the hospitality industry is concerned with providing customer with a place of stay on temporary basis. It's the most commonly associated with the tourism industry where people book holiday trip and also uh, accommodation sector create local people seeking a short break from their everyday routine and those who require temporary accommodation for almost any other purpose. And accommodation and its service. In the accommodation, you have some important services like bread, bed, and breakfast. Like in the bed and breakfast, also known B and B's are a small establishment of this accommodation and its service included in the bed and breakfast. Another point is come the hotels. So hotels are one of the important part for the modern traveler for traveling and it is the important part for the accommodation and its services. And in the hotel you uh, have different kind of services including room service, housekeeping, facilitating for eating and drinking. So if we classify the hotels, then you see there are different types of hotels around the walls, like based on the size, based on the star, based on the location, based on ownership, based on services, based on uh, duration, and alternative accommodation also is here. And in this figure, you see that uh, in the uh, size they have a small, medium, large. Uh, in the start they have the five star, and also different types of hotels you see in the hotel classification. But in the uh, alternative recommendation, you see the yacht hostel, boarding houses, then campus ground, railway 
railway or airport rooms and paying guests accommodation. Accommodation and service, we already say that hotel now come to the motel. Uh, motel are similar to the hotel, but they are uh, specifically designed for the use of overnight. And come to the hostel, that hostel are from a uh, communal accommodation while multiple guests will usually sleep in shared a room. And you have the resort, you have the service apartment, you have the time sharing uh, accommodation types. These are the uh, service of accommodation. And what does uh, hospitality mean for hotel in the digital age? Because we are uh, looking about the uh, modern traveler. So in the modern traveler means they are always need some digital uh, accommodation or digital hospitality management system and, and in the digital age you must take every opportunity to differentiate yourself and your hospitality from others so uh, in this uh, digital age uh, you have some different types of needs so uh, at the uh, hospitality industry those who are working in the hospitality industry they uh, must analyze the needs of the travelers and also here you see in the digital uh, world they have uh, the personalization in the customer expecting their visit to customize themselves keeping up the hospitality mean doing as much as you can meet this type of desire because your travelers have some desire has some uh, needs uh, to fulfill uh, their uh, needs uh, now, uh, in the digital age, the hospitality uh, management always try to fulfill the customer's satisfaction. And also accommodation for modern traveler, there are always time when traveler are seeking uh, different types of choices because modern traveler has the different types of choices at the time of accommodation. And uh, you see uh, in the hostel facility the traveler needs the solo traveler and the budget traveler they need the hostel so so they need the hostel they have the budget option so they also might need this type of accommodation at the time of traveling and also hotel they need some uh, some of the traveler needs luxury hotel and like uh, they want to uh, break they travel they want to uh, travel uh, pure they uh, plan to travel in a luxurious hotel luxurious place and also uh, in the traveling time the apartment also uh, are accommodation good accommodation for the traveler who travel for the long term traveling suppose a medical traveler also a traveler so uh, when they go for the treatment from one country to another country, they need this type of apartment for, uh, and this type of apartment gives them the all types of comfort. Like they have the kitchen, they have uh, have the living room, they have the all types of facility like a home. Now, uh, uh, in the combination of apartment, uh, some of the traveler uh, uh, needs some gym, uh, some newspaper services so the apartment owner also gives this type of services to the traveler because this is called the luxurious apartment experience for the uh, traveler who are travel in the luxurious period of time and also the guest house guest house also a tra uh, budget traveler and unique experience for the guest house most of the common in the Asia and they are usually small and budgetary and they are friendly for the travel. Uh, now uh, we come to the point that uh, in a traveling time, the modern uh, traveler has needs some private rental houses. So uh, they also need some private rental houses as the time of traveling. Like now, the point is here that trend affect the modern traveler so what does the trend affect 
and the modern travelers like it is a globalization safety and security the diversity the services the technology the legal issue the changing in the demographic and also price and value these are the point and also the sanitation because it is the covid 19 era so in this time uh, these are the uh, point that affect the modern traveler and also the security is another point because at the time of traveling uh, time uh, traveler always needs some security so a country needs uh, this kind of facility for the traveler to move freely around in a city or around in a town right uh, and now the service model in the service model you must uh, give a smile make eye contact respect and welcome all guests value to the uh, magic and initiate guest contract creative uh, service situation and at the end of the time you say thank you to the modern traveler because uh, different types of traveler are come to your hotel uh, in your, your hospitality industry now the point is here that uh, what is shaping the future of hospitality industry in the hospitality industry we always we already observed that it is a covid 19 era and in this COVID-19 era, uh, our hospitality industry actually uh, uh, damages so much because so many people are now jobless uh, uh, in this situation. The hospitality industry are facing in a threat. So, so in the COVID-19 era, uh, you must uh, select uh, uh, the hospitality industry in different ways because there are the lockdown there are the hospitality sector to live through waste of result in this recent history there are the financial loss and hotels are closed so now the social impact is clear to us all that has faced the change in the way we live and uh, the daily routine such as working practice shopping habit and if uh, even the interpersonal relationship have been Alter. So uh, now, as a uh, traveler, uh, their their demands are ch change because their demands are changed because now they want some digital thing. Already, uh, Mr. Martin shows this kind of thing, uh, like uh, health and safety. In the health and safety requirement, they uh, need uh, some uh, different types of uh, thing, like automated ticket booking, automated. Uh, uh, like uh, the automated uh, room uh, traveling uh, uh, hotel room like some of the hotel room are uh, says the voice sensitive room like they just say lights are open so the traveler don't need to touch the light button so this is one of the point that health and safety also the willingness the united nation has emphasized the importance of mental health that at the times of our loneliness we have in the lockdown we are uh, seriously uh, harm, uh, harm for our mental health so in this time we need some fresh organic foods so at the time of the time of the, uh, the traveler visiting time the hospitality industry must give this kind of facilities to the traveler or their customer also consumption and spending uh, many traveler will try rise the expenditure so now um, it is important that uh, before uh, purchasing anything uh, as a hospitality industry must show that they have the different price as um, uh, market after uh, analyzing the uh, or uh, serving the market that what type of pricing they give to the truck already almost end to our lecture that uh, COVID has had a service impact on the global economy which must be taken into account but people will still go on holiday they will just travel smarter so low leaks location that guarantee on easy return will be prioritized so 
traveler so travel is smarter means you need now is smart traveling so you need some smart traveling like without touching anything the traveling will happen now like e ticket booking like uh, already i said that uh, we need the google facilities on our um, hotel room on the airport on the flight always we need some smart traveling or uh, otherwise we are not capturing the mind of the uh, uh, modern travelers so now we come to the end like uh, at the end of the day your feet should be dirty your hair is messy and your eyes are sparking at the time of traveling so at the time of traveling you must see some new thing you must observe the new uh, culture new food and uh, uh, different types of perception you need at the time of your traveling so thank you uh, uh, for your attention and uh, these are uh, this is my contact number so if any one of you are want to contact with me you just uh, is uh, capture this uh, picture uh, you will be able to contact with me anytime and um, sharing with me many things about the family so uh, this is the end of my slide and thank you all for being with me thank you so much Professor Muhammad Sharyar Parvez. So thank you, sir, for letting us meet the different type of travelers and making us understand the accommodations and trends of modern travelers. I'm trying to reflect and assess what type of traveler I am, and I might consider myself as the budget tripper. And I would also like to add I'm a food tripper as well. So thank you, sir, for letting us un uh, meet the different type of travelers. We are happy listening and uh, some of our viewers are also trying to assess themselves uh, what type of traveler they are. So thank you so much, Professor Sharyar Parvis, for being with us tonight. Thank you.